Hey guys, this is Karan Binani from MobiScrub and I'm here to show you how you can type really fast on an Android smartphone. Yes, Android and not iOS because iOS does not have anything like this yet that I could demonstrate. I have kept a clock on this side to prove that this indeed is not a fast motion video. So I'm indeed able to type this quick uh, using the keyboard right here. As you can see, I've been able to type hi, how are you by just hovering my fingers over letters. So now let's try something else. <laughs> it's really quick. Okay, anyway. Now, this is really easy. It's very convenient. It might take a little while to get used to, but uh, you know, once you get used to it, I can guarantee you that you would not be able to leave it. Give it a day or two. Uh, you know, just practice a little bit and I'm sure you'll get addicted. So how this really works is, or the trick is, that you just hover your fingers. So by hover, I don't mean in the air. You need to obviously make a physical contact. But just hover your fingers over letters that make that word, right? And it'll just think of a word on its own. Now, there are obviously a lot of combinations possible. And it indeed th th does give you a lot of options at the bottom. So if I make a mistake, I can just double tap and I can correct it instantly. So it's really easy. It's very fast. And, you know, um, you can do a lot of other things that I will talk about later in the video. So first you need to install this keyboard. It's called Swipe. So just search for swipe uh, in the market and you'll see two versions. One is a paid version and the other is a free version. The free version is a 30 day trial. Um, but you know, you can actually get the beta version uh, from its website, which is absolutely free. So go hit this link beta.swipe.com slash Android slash get. Now make sure that under your security set settings, you've got unknown sources checked. So this way, you know, when the file downloads from the web, you can install the um, uh, keyboard. Now, once you install the keyboard, make sure that you go into settings for the keyboard. So go into language and input, uh, look for swipe beta 1.4 and then click on settings and make sure that you do a few changes to the preferences section. So uncheck auto correction, uncheck show helpful tips and also uncheck next word prediction because these things can get pretty annoying um, and you know, it might slow you down. So make sure these three things are unchecked. And that's it guys, you're all good to go now. So let's take a closer look again. Let's look again closely. Now it's really simple. You just hover your fingers over letters that you want, right? It's really simple. So just say computer, so C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R, right? You just hover my fingers over those. And if it doesn't match your whatever word you were, you were thinking, you know, you'll have these suggestions that appear at the bottom. So you can just tap from that. What's also interesting is that just like a computer, you can select all of your text by swiping from swipe key to A, and then you can paste it by swipe to V, which is control V sort of a thing. So it's really easy and you know, you obviously use a lot of this. You can make the keyboard go away by simply swiping from the swipe key to the backspace key. Uh, you can also have the number keyboard uh, appear by swiping from swipe to five. So again, you know, a lot of these shortcuts are there uh, and that really make your whole typing experience very convenient and very easy, very quick. What about keywords that are not there in the dictionary? Well, just type them out, press space and then add to dictionary. The next time you swipe, they would appear. It's really that easy. And you know, there's a backup which actually syncs all of these to your account. Even words with double letters is not a problem. Just circle over the double letter. So in case of letter, there are two T's. I hover twice or basically circle on T or circle on L to get balloon. It's really that simple. Now, a lot of times you have apostrophes. So say your, right? Uh, again, there's no problem. You just need to include the apostrophe, which is right beside the space key. And you know, it takes into account the fact that this is actually, uh, you know, with an apostrophe. So again, you know, this is so intuitive. Um, and even while typing, you wouldn't even have to think you would actually do this on your own. A lot of times you want some words to start with capital letter, right? Now, do you always want to press the shift key for that? Well, not required. So say I want to type hill. So I, pr I press on H, take my hand above the keyboard and it automatically capitalizes. And you know, I just have to continue typing the keys or the keyword. Really easy. As you can see, I have never pressed a shift key and all the first letters are capitalized. You can also personalize your uh, swipe keyboard. So go into settings for swipe and then you can go into personalization and you can select from different keyboard themes you know, a lot of colors. You can also sync your words to Facebook, Twitter, and Gmail. It picks up all the words and puts it in the dictionary. You can also download additional languages, including English, which is quite interesting. 
So that's it about this, the swipe keyboard, guys. I uh, hope you really liked it and you would definitely try it out. Let me know how you felt about it and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.